All right, folks, the deck is Tech Shaman. The goal of the deck isn't necessarily to win ourselves, but to prevent our opponent from winning games. Uh, the way that we do that is with every single tech card that I could imagine being worthwhile playing in the current metagame, including things like Plate Breaker, Skulking Geist, and Mutanus the Devourer. At the top end, it's got Kazakasan to maybe give us a way to win if the opponent uh, refuses to leave. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash Raffle. Let me see more. Welcome to Ovaries. Ruffle confirms that t Plate Breaker is worth playing in this meta. Yeah. Add it to all of your decks. You heard it here first. Hey, welcome, Terran. Do I have to just like assume that it's Shadow Priest? In which case, this is actually a decent hand. It's kind of a decent hand, regardless of what type of priest it is, right? It's just a curve. Hmm. Could be uh, Inner Fire. Find out. The freeze effects are good if it's big priest. So is the Zef. But I don't really know what I want off the Zef yet, so... Well, wild growth on three is always tempting. I think, uh... It's some more information because, like, I might need the Zef if it's big priest and I need to, like, transform something. No healing for you. Okay. High end to suggest it's not Big Priest. Could be Boars as well. Oh, dragons. Nice. <clears throat> Could be Dragon Reno, or just... No, it's not Dragon Reno. There's two insights. Uh, they could have a Kazamicus of their own. So, what I'm hoping is that they play another minion here after they take a bump and I can play the the bumper sergeant. Oh no. I'm gonna get some of my sweet, sweet tech cards. Hey now, doing all right. How about yourself? Hey ogre. Oh my god. Are you just like probably confused and concerned about the card choices that they have? this and then trade the viper because I don't want to drop back immediately. Yeah. 
More importantly, Blizzard also likes dragons. Wait, you mean Dragon D is nuts? Got him! Just the entire company of Blizzard. Especially you, Bobby. Oh, that's nice. It's got a handy um, macaw reminder here. I could, I would say I'll never mess up the uh, the macaw again, but that'd be a lie. <laughs> Even with the reminder, I'm still gonna botch it. Now yeah, let's eat some secrets that definitely exist in the opponent's deck. Maybe this will be the turn that the opponent takes in a reasonable amount of time. Nope. I think Skulking Geist might actually be pretty good in this matchup. I don't know if it's the... Uh... In your fire version, but like, oh, I don't have spells in my deck. Jokes on you! I built my deck like a dummy. Was a mirror? Is that coffee mug? Huge. Uh, no, this is this is an American small. Like, have you seen the size of our beverages? Rude. Okay. Well, now we can find out what their combo is, potentially, if it exists at all. Huh. Still decent value. What about that day? Small here in Portugal, a small mug is like the size of your finger. That That was the joke. Armor, armor, lightly I want ruin here. I need a bounce effect before the shutter is live. Like, yeah, I have the macaw, but. Uh oh. Would have been nice to hit that with a Mutanus. Do I just have to go in on the shutter? And hope for the best. So that I don't die. What do I even have in it? Gang Gang Eater. Neophyte. Wait, I haven't drawn a Toxfin yet, have I? Why is this gone? I've got freeze effects in here, but they can't hit me with the locusts this turn or potentially the next few turns. Oh, 
I think maybe I can just win with like big shutter walk after the freezes. So probably just have to play shutter walk here. I got my, my uh, Zola, so I can go Macaw Zola. They never have silence and destroy. Yeah, like I need. Okay, Shadow or Rager is actually fine. So is that because that makes me boards? Never mind. I need to actually make some board space, though. Do this in the right order. No, we keep losing the wind chill. At least we get to keep eating their secrets. Wait, that rage is kind of annoying. Maybe I'll just steal the rager eventually. Oh, they didn't have to target that. Easy. This deck is unbeatable. Also, the opponent's deck, in my experience, is uh, unwinnable. Because <laughs> I definitely played that deck. Hey, Umbra. Brucon versus uh oh. Um, I'm acting on instinct. Hmm. What lurks beyond the firelight? I need Neophyte Lotheb. Jeweler, Saboteur, not these cards. Hey, Decon. This is not the hand we're looking for, but that's the, uh, the risky run running so many bad cards in your deck. Mechathun is a counter. Uh, no, we just simply um, Mutanus there, Mechathun. Hero power into their removably spells. Oh, 
One of these days, I'll draw something that costs less than four. I mean, I've got the Flurgle talks, but... Doesn't seem all that helpful here. You're the wrong half of my deck. I think. But maybe they do a dumb here, and that actually ends up giving me a chance. Alright. Ah, yeah, they did it. They gave me an out when they didn't have to. It's unlikely to matter all that much, but it's just still not a thing you should do. Never punished. Like, that's just an egregious, egregious mistake that you never want to make against a Shaman in particular. Especially one that's been holding so many cards and playing so many battle cries. Wait, what happened? Rip Hearthstone? Looks beyond the firelight. Honestly, I think I just keep the crawler as like a two drop. Would you say Odd Under is worse than regular questline under right now? Yeah, absolutely. That's not even a conversation. <laughs> uh, it, there's m maybe an argument that it was worse before the new cards came in, but now it's just like not even close. We have turned our curse into our strength. Light help us. Hello? You hungry? Reporting for duty. What about even questline hunter? To this day, anytime I play an even deck, somebody asks if you can run a quest in it. Oh god.
Oh god. Well, someone watched today's YouTube video. We tried Fatigue Shaman, but with farmers and the parrots to prevent the damage from fatigue. Uh, that sounds like something that I did previously, but just worse because you only have one target for farmers. And uh, Body Wrapper does the same thing, but like reliably and doesn't mess up your parrots. So it just. Like, I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good thing to do because then your parrots always just copy the farmers after a certain point. And it also kind of relies on you drawing things in the correct order or holding cards, which is generally not a good strategy in a card game. I mean, I'm just holding cards that give me an early curve in this matchup. Hey, Bonk. Probably don't want to hear a power. Honestly, not even sure if the Hunger Crab is worth keeping, but it allows me to use my mana. Break it, you buy it. Got ourselves a muddiness, but like it's very um this is very unlikely to hit a Tavish ever. Um the opponent would have to mess up just abysmally, embarrassingly. Hey, welcome, Easy. Keep it in the wrong 5 mana, 5-5 five, five in this matchup. Getting the mutanus. Hey, we did four damage with it. God, I keep drawing my top end in this matchup. Oh, 
that's a bad healing totem. Yeah, that's GG anyway. Alright, that is not a good matchup most of the time. Especially not with the draws that we've been hitting. Shaman is not well known for its secrets, so... Hey, see you later, Tasselis. Thanks for hanging out. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is much more manageable. I've even got a Hungry Crab in here. And a Flurgle Tox, more importantly. Ugh. Let this be a lesson to you, chat. Don't add Mutanus to your deck. If you want to win games of Hearthstone. It doesn't have win free. Ah, the nerf. I don't think I've seen or played a crab rider since it got nerfed. Yeah, I just completely forgot how the card worked. You're not going to protect your okay. Never punished, by the way. <laughs> Romano sends us regards. I know he's he's laughing at me somewhere. Maybe that'll be the next meme he sends to Chalky. How can you be so good at top decking? Have you seen the last three games that I've played? Because if not, I would point you to the previous three games that I've played. Alright, I just need to be able to coin out the Mutanus next turn, so... I want to prevent any shenanigans, I want them to dump hand. Hashtag undo crab rider nerf? No, the hashtag is uh, let crab ride. Gotta keep with the times. Don't you dare touch my... That's otherwise such like a bad trade. <laughs> Why though? A good pull. Yeah, let's meme around a little bit since uh, we're so far ahead. Oh yeah, I guess they did know we had Mutanus in him. That's fair. That's that is absolutely fair. I was just molding for no reason. No memes allowed? I, well, I think what we found out is the dankness is no meme. 
the opponent conceded immediately after we dropped a four mana twenty twenty. Finja gamer too. I know Finja is one of my favorite uh, cards. I hit rank one uh, legend with uh, Finja the first time, and the second time I think. Yeah, let's keep the crab to eat some pirates. But I assume it's probably quest rogue, right? So I can chow down on the early game pirates, steal some with the mind control tech, and maybe have a chance at winning. That's pretty good as well. Leftmost card was kept. Expected. Um, unfortunately, I can't. I don't think I can tempo the crawler. I just want to get an idiot totem there. Ugh. Never lucky. I gotta go find that tweet. Oh yeah, good luck. That was a long time ago. Jeez, that's a pretty nutty opener. Hmm. The spammy is good, but I think it might be like a turn or two too slow. Top deck lethal 69. Thank you for the 500 bits. Really appreciate that. Any thoughts about what they might do for the new core set? I think they might uh, add some new cards. Uh, I don't know. I imagine it'll be somewhat similar to uh, the last core set, though. But you're basically just throwing darts at a board trying to predict that type of thing. I just want Highlander. I would be very surprised if they added Highlander stuff to the core set. I think that they want like more broadly um, applicable cards than something like a Highlander Center Chase. Like that to me seems like an unrealistic expectation to set. One, two. How do I make a four with out oh, losing a three? Oh wait, I can just bump. Just bump. Bump, and then I have one, two, three, four. Like the opponent knows it's coming. Good thing they traded. I mean, I could have just as easily made those trades. So yes, it was a good thing for me that they traded. And gave up a charger for some reason. A charger that didn't have charge. I want to delay the juggernaut or the guardian as long as I can. But it might just have to come down next turn. Not a good draw in this situation. I mean, they're showing 25, so it just has to be this. They might even be able to kill this, so I don't have a lot of uh, options off the top. Yeah, they can't kill that. I wasn't expecting... Good secret passage. I need a bird now. Bird into Shudder. Double passage. Uh -huh. 
piggy. Okay. Not a lot of draws that keep me in this game. Even Reno's dead. That's a draw that keeps me in this, though. Wow. Now it needs to be either Shutterwalk or um, Floor Gold Talk, so gotta be the uh, Ice Fishing for that to be the play. Plus. Opponent is once again very proud of themselves for winning a heavily, 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 heavily favored matchup. So, good job. You played great. Just great. Throwing charge minions away like, like, like nothing. Almost losing all your burst. Good job. Let me play target dummy to board lock myself. Yeah, there are a lot of very questionable decisions that game. Not sure what the opponent is so proud of. All right, probably got to keep the dirty rat, um, although it doesn't beat Mechathum. But do I even keep it? I could get Zeph into some sort of transform effect. There's our Mutanus. Isn't that quest really RNG based? Uh, the only RNG involved in quest... Are you kidding me? What a horrible sequence of draws there with this in my opener. That was incredibly, incredibly unlike unlucky. The only RNG is the matchup you queue into. The deck's uh, very consistent. He just gets steamrolled by aggro. Side effects? No. Trust me. I mean, the one good thing this does is it doesn't tip off the fact that we have three Murlocs in our deck. So. Okay, so it's Owl. That really makes the Dirty Rat useless, unless I hit Tamsin. Uh, but it does make the Skulking Geist good, right? God, that's ramping up quickly. You here for the tour? 
thinking I'm going to build this deck. Is there anything to replace the darkness with, or is it necessary? There is absolutely nothing in this deck that is necessary. Except for maybe Flurgal Tox and Shadowwalk. Snowfall Guardians and Macaws. But like, 80% of this deck is unnecessary. setting up for you. Could they have, an, have had an actual defile though? At least a better one than that. Seems like a card you want. Where's your alliance pride now? And now I'm confused. I ain't talking. around with the piggy right now. Yeah, it's hand buff warlock apparently. God, I need that guy so bad. And that also means that just like eating minions is probably fine because that's fewer things that they can uh, buff, right? Night to both piggies. Good God. it and everything. Oh yeah, let's get that dankness online. Or not. Yeah?
Okay. Would have died anyway. Yeah? Oh! Don't do it. Don't you dare do it. It has to be second plague bottom card. No, let me hit you. I can't blame them to be honest. I can, and I do. We'll keep. Goes up into wild growth. Uh-oh. Probably gotta keep the, uh... Clarinet Chain Gang. Or, rather, the uh, Zephyrus for removal. Maybe some AoE removal on turn five. Guaranteed clear for next turn. So, I just let them uh, trade into these. Even if they buff, they're dead, and I don't even have to give up the Zeph yet. Oh, I want full extension here if possible. Craigasm. Blast Blight, thank you for the five months. Such a disgusting combo. Job done. I don't actually want to be overloaded for next turn in case they have one more push. And I can just hit them with the Mutanus. Like if they draw some more acorns here. Or just that. Yeah. 
Easy. Hey, welcome, Sierra. Looks like a full keep, to be honest. Honestly, early rat in this matchup is kind of fine. And then I wouldn't even mind repeating it with the parrot just to uh, remove as many of their battle cries as possible. I'm not necessarily going with a rat on two, but like having it in hand is better than not. I would rather do it closer to the uh, snowfall turn. Are you out of your mind? Kind of surprised how Gazakazan is having success in Wild. Um, I mean, it's played in like one deck. And honestly, it's probably like a worse version of what that one deck could be, even. At least I don't have any spells in my deck. Got that going for me. Uh, We're totem shaman now? No, they're totem shaman now. See? There always have been. Oh my god, these are so bad. Why would you give me these? You idiot. All I wanted was Shadowward Pain. in case they have a boss spell here, I guess. <laughs> Ugh.
Yep, very cool. Thanks, Seth. Oh my god, that's gonna make me lose this game. I would have been able to permafreeze their board. Just go with the spammy. Nope, there's no three. I can't risk the dirty rat into another uh, web lord. Spammy and bird, that would be a major, major horrendous throw. I want to leave them board locked. We're gonna be rich. Should be able to win from here, though. Mm. Oh my god, what terrible rolls. Okay, I do still have the spammy, though. One, two, do I have a three somewhere? Bump here into a three. Now I don't have a five. Make one of my own. Ever a dragon? This is the most useful. Plate breaker has ever been. I guess if I were gonna do this, I should, probably should have just played the Chang Gang to uh, make an easier three. But maybe Chang Gang's more valuable than Plate Breaker. Nom. Such a <laughs> All right. Should be uh, clear sailing from here, right? Thank you for the three months. One, two. Yeah, this is already a two, but I need it for a three. Do I have a clear here? Skill. 
look at me. One, two, three, four. Look at me. I need a two health minion here. Look at me. I'm coming, I'm coming. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I get a two health minion here. Beautiful. Solo was a two, but how did I get a three then? I had to trade. Jeez, I'm just. Or was the spammy the three? Oh my god, chat. Shut up! We got the clear. I don't need 16 people to tell me this baby was the, the three. The only thing different be is I lost a totem, which doesn't matter. I know that. So many times in the YouTube comments recently, I've had situations identical to that, and there's always there's always at least one person in the comments. Well, how do you know they rage quit? Maybe they just lost connection. It's like, yeah. Yeah, they lost connection immediately the turn after they lost the game after not any indication of uh, connection issues the whole game. Yeah, you're right. Uh, a lot of people are playing the Giants Shaman right now. So I want to keep the guys just to blow up their overdrafts and stuff. The rug for sure. Be careful. Get a 10 minute timeout if you're wrong. Oh, it's Murlocs again. Alright, see you in 10 minutes. I got the wrong grab for this matchup and the wrong Skulking Geist. It's Dr. Tiny Fin. I love their symmetry here. That really been enough of a thing that there has built in timeout for wrong rogue predictions. Yes, literally 
50% of my games, I think somebody says, it's a rogue. And so it just like, it gets tiresome after a while. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much been a thing since uh, Meister came out. It is uh, overtaken the, hey, Raffle, play even Demon Hunter uh, meme in Twitch chat. There's a lot of Murlocs? Yeah, most of them on the opponent's board. Okay, we know this is another Murloc. This could be a spell, which would be very bad for me. I do some of playing so, play so slow, like three seconds between each attack. Uh, some are bots, some are most are mobile. Got eleven showing. I might be able to survive uh, to the snowfall here. Have you ever played any other games on stream? Uh, yeah, a few times. But generally not. Oh my god, that's GG. Uh, I just leave them board locked, right? I don't ever want to trade into anything here. again. A 1-2 Tidehunter is probably not worth it. I mean, they'd already used both of their shoot Murlocs anyway, right? So how would they have gotten lethal to begin with? Or even with a space on board, I don't think it mattered all that much. Like, yeah, it was not correct, but I don't think it changed the outcome of the game. Old Murkai? Okay, yeah, that would be the exception here. Uh, keep the saboteur. But I need better things than just a saboteur here. Spellward jeweler is good too. I also kind of need to ramp with the zap, I think. So that I can get to my like actual win conditions for this matchup. Oh, that's good news. Your wish is my suggestion. Pretty 
pretty good. Especially into like a Lothab or even the Jeweler slash Saboteur. Stuff doesn't offer Brightwing anymore in two. I don't think he ever did. I think. What were the options? It was Wild Growth, Animal Companion, and what else? I guess maybe it normally is Brightwing. To replace Wild Growth with Jade Blossom, that would not be what Zeph does, though. But no, they shouldn't. It's a good draw. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Does that offer AI though? I've never seen him do it. Yeah, I think he can if you have three mana left over and need some cards like it depends on your hand space. Or hand size, rather. Ever worth the totem here? I think not. I think totem just gives them things to shoot into. Do the candles refresh the hunter hero power? Uh, no. Uh, the opponent's not casting them. The card is. In the same way that they wouldn't get added to the Yogg-Saron pool. Or increment the yogg -Saron. That was a really, 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 really bad idea. Why would they add Tavish to their hand right now? Can I please punish them one time? No, I can't. It's so disappointing. Happened so many times today. Burton, thank you for the three months. Frustrating. order. Uh, uh. 
Did you want to leave exactly? Oh my god, are you kidding me? I do like leaving exactly enough power on board to kill a 7-7 for no reason. I'm just going to give them stuff to attack into. Or hero power into since they seem inclined to do so. Maybe they'll miss some more hero powers here. What? Healing for nine isn't enough. This is just an outrageous, outrageous thing that is happening to me right now. Good for you, buddy. You've just played this game beautifully. I did not think it was possible to make that many mistakes with Questline Hunter. Hold on to your mug. We're in for a wild night. Okay. Mage, maybe we get the uh, Eater of Secrets value once. I just keep a Galaka because it's something I can do in the early game. Maybe I can eat some wildfires or something, but they're probably going to get them down before I can uh, get to those Hello. Geist. Hello. You hungry? Okay, so we saved the coin for the Geist to try and make it so they can't complete the quest. So we just go chain gang into coin geist. Yeah. Really, what if we do this and deny the uh, maybe five pot here? Make it less likely that they're able to play any one mana spells or inclined to play any one mana spells. I didn't ditch class to get second place.
What? How do they have a guidance in their deck? Oh, the uh the warden. How did they have so few? I was expecting like magic tricks and whatnot. set up for the spammy next turn hopefully it's a created secret of course it's the right way Sets up the spammy. Job done. Okay. Trump, I don't know why you're fishing so hard for a ban, but like I can just do it for you if you want. Like I don't know what your deal has been lately, but why even show up to the stream if that's how you're gonna talk? I think that's generally going to be a pretty tough matchup for me. Because the the multiple turns offset the freezes anyway. Brucon versus Sprawl. For Doomhammer. What lurks beyond the fire? Mm. Honestly, like, again, I think that a lot of people are running the Frog Shaman, so I think maybe keeping the Geist is worthwhile. But, let's just full keep this. We 
do be rocking. The Geist isn't going to be great. But the Rat and the uh, Mutanus are. Potentially. Do you think a Big Shaman? No. Big Shaman wouldn't run ice fishing. I was thinking... Uh, better walk at the start, but then like I want to have the Geist as a hedge against uh, Frog. A deck is Bunker Sergeant targeting, uh, board based decks, anything that plays for board. Like, the same things that, uh, Spammy is targeting. So what we're going to do is hopefully maintain the um, spammy on board, and then I want to go Dirty Rat into Zola the Dirty Rat. No pirate warriors so far? Yeah, I mean, that's... No! Nature waits for no one. Yeah, this is fine. Now I can just bounce the... wrong one to hit unfortunately but I've got my own flurgle tox so I go next turn they're probably gonna flurgle tox me and maybe develop like something else I can go ice fishing into my own flurgle tox then follow it with a mutanus which is pretty good Wait, they're not going? Oh, okay. Wait, I think Deck Tracker is bugged with uh, Skulking Geist. It keeps deleting my one drops from my deck. Look at me. When it should be only hitting spells. Yeah. Could be worse. Geist used to get rid of all one cost cards. No. Uh, it's never been a thing he's done. No. I kind of just want to get Snowfall Guardian in my Shutterwalk pool, and then I'm pretty much set, right? What's your most win rate deck, Raffle? Uh, Megathune Shaman. I have a 100% win rate with it in my lifetime.
Kind of got some pretty lucky hits across the board with theirs. I, I think they're just more aggressive with their, um, like, hand effects, and that was probably what won them the game. Oh, hey, we found a warrior. Um, I was told these don't exist at uh, higher legend ranks, so this must be a myth. Yep. This is a mirage. I want to save the coin for the uh, snowfall. Gotta grumble to follow it. Might have to use uh, for a three drop, yeah. Uh, I can't really just let a captain sit on board, even freezing it isn't very good, so this just has to be my Zeph turn. I'm sorry, what? What are you doing? Lightning Storm messes up my plan of getting to this a little bit too much. Because then I would have to play it next turn, which means I'm overloaded for five and I can't coin the Snowfall Guardian, which is kind of my win condition at this point. I'll do it again! even go for like a coin reno into snowfall because snowfall a little bit later might be better with the grumble because grumble on seven is better than grumble on six so i might just actually coin the reno here It's just no. No. A giant eye is there. Yeah, 
I refuse to accept this. This is not actually happening. This is all just a fever dream. Pirate warriors don't actually exist at this rank. Okay. Okay. They figured it out. But also... No, they didn't, because they do not want to go... Do still need more than what I currently have to get there. So I need like time to draw into Shutterwalk. As long as I can't play the Rokar, I'm not too concerned about giving them. I thought that uh, Questline Hunter matchup was going to be hard to beat in terms of uh, this place, but... Plate breaker lethal. Ever doubted a dragon? Where's that uh, Twitch chatter calling me a hypocritical prick right now? Oh, that's right, I banned him. I'll be right back.
Imagine being a sub and calling the streamer you've been sub to for six months a prick. I mean, it wasn't just that. Like, I wouldn't have banned him for just that. But they're in message history over the course of like the past three streams has just been trying to instigate things like that and they have a history of doing that even prior so like why is that somebody that i want to have hanging out with me you know i'll keep the snowfall just because it's good if it's like cute block but most of the time i just want to like ramp hard to get to the mutanus and stuff Unfortunately, this is a very good hand if it is cute lock, but I don't see that as entirely likely. Yeah. So that means it's probably Owl. Could be the hand buff opponent again. Well, this time it gave right wing. Maybe it's like a coin issue. Replacement for Toxfin, uh, Patient Assassin. Oh my god, chat, the synergy. <laughs> Only for me. getting spooky but they still haven't played the owl nor have they hit a weapon yet eight mana eight eight going on Thank you. Wait, that was actually helpful. You're a good one. Me hungry. You yummy. <laughs> I mean, they're still running some sort of combo with the, um, no, wait, what are they going to do?
Damson with the Agony, plus 70 plus damage? Yeah, but like, why are the Wicked shipments in there, right? Do, are they still doing a Death Rattle combo? And also, like, it's not an immediate 70 damage. I've tried that deck, it's Omega bad. Black tree with dancing swords? Okay, that could be. They're trying both combos with Owl? Well, I mean, not anymore because we deleted both combos that with a single card. Good with Plague? Yeah, that could be it as well. Opponent at 20 health? Let's do it. Still do the Owl one? Uh, no, because I deleted the Wicked shipments. So they don't have the... The minions. Do so. Oh, that's their, uh, that's their plan. I'm very good at this game right now. Stack armor. Ow! So the, the armor stack is to make up for the fact that you, like, can't force the opponent to draw. Okay. There might be a Gul'dan in there, I guess. So I'm going to hold back. The uh, Snowfall Man. Like, I don't... To be clear, I don't think a uh, Gul'dan would be a good card for their deck, but... It's okay. I don't think they're really planning to use their hero power anyway, but... Come on! <laughs> Give me that sweet dankness value. There we go. Skulking guy stood, I think. Okay. Did we probably lose Shutterwalk? Nope, I lost every single card in my deck except for Shutterwalk, didn't I? Amazing. God, that's so outrageous. I do have freezes in there, don't I?
Good order. Like, I think I bounced this one off of the Zola, right? Yeah, okay. Oof. Oh, let me top deck the embers, please. I don't want to delete the embers yet. Slizzle, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. You came in a beautiful time. We're playing a little bit of a uh, tech shaman against some type of warlock deck that is now going to gain an obscene amount of armor. I didn't think about this part of it. Um, but they played. Ticketus with um, six cards left in my deck. They burned every card except for Shutterwalk. Wait, I've got Plate Breaker in, in the... <laughs> oh my god. The Plate Breaker value, chat. So there's no point in attacking here because I want the plate breaker. Uh, one, two, three. It goes up to four. Like I don't get to attack with the dankness, but it's fine. Oh, good. We got the healing totem back. That's what I was desperately hoping for. Oh wait, that's fantastic order with the. Uh, well, maybe not so much with that, but. Eat something? Oh my god. Uh, at least it's good order with the plate breaker. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best plate breaker's ever been. Thirty-one, thirty-one, ready? No, I was gonna get play or uh, dankness lethal every time. Actually, in reality, I was just gonna rip the the Ragnaros and then figure it out from there. Also, Fizzle Jizzik, sorry I missed this earlier, but thank you for the twenty months. Hey, Raffle, sorry joining so late. I hope everything is going well. Congrats again for the sponsor. Shutter up. Sorry I missed that. A little bit of craziness was going on, but I appreciate that. <laughs> 